Hi, welcome to the Plotly Dash tutorial. In this series of videos, we're going to explore more about the Plotly Dash framework concept, and we're going to walk through um, a series of examples that will make you able to create some beautiful and interactive web applications using just pure Python and the Dash framework. So before we start um, building something, let's just explore what what is Dash and what's Dash capable of. And here's a quick example that I've previously built. And it's a dashboard that is totally interactive. So just we'll select something here to show you that it's going to update automatically the points. And also if you, for example, sort the rows here, uh, it automatically sorts the the histogram and also if you select here, you select, you show does the select pointed, just the selected points. And um, also if we go to the Plotly Dash website, uh, we are able to see some really, really, really good examples. Um, so here you hover the point and it updates the graphic and there's a bunch of drop downs and options here to select, which make this framework really, really great for uh, data visualization and to show insights to your clients and for your personal projects. So Dash, what is Dash? Dash is a framework created by Plotly um, and it was launched in the public uh, open source in about around July 2017. So it's a pretty new framework and it's um, kind of a shiny but for Python. Um, this is a good alternative for our Shiny, and uh, the convenient part is that it's built purely in Python, so it's a very general language purpose, which uh, for some projects is really, really good. So for this series of videos, we're going to follow this plan. So in the first video, we're going to talk about the concept and how to create our first app. Then we're going to manipulate the layout and the styling uh, using CSS and a little bit of bootstrap. And Third, we're going to make the app interactive like you have seen in the previous examples. And for this, we're going to introduce you to the concept of callback. That's basically a wrapper in Python. And finally, we're going to explore some cool tips and good use cases that I've seen from the apps in the community or from developed by the people of Plotly. So before we jump to the code, uh, I'll just Add a quick, quick note about the installation. I'm not going to install here because these instructions might be changed by the time you are watching this video. Um, the version might change, but here is like very, very intuitive, very straightforward. So here is how you install this. Then Plotly developed a really good tutorial for Dash and with good examples and a step-by-step -step, uh, guide. Now, when I did for the first time, it was great, but I feel that there's some part that I struggled in, which I'm going to emphasize here um, and add on the top of it my understanding of the layout in the CS with CSS and Bootstrap, which might not be um, intuitive for the ones who never had done that. So I'm going to develop from this first and initial code from the Plotly tutorial, and it might take some different path. So feel free to follow my them. And uh, so I previously paste, copy and paste here in our app.py and um, add some lines like this, how to um, change the title. And the first lesson is how to run our first application. So basically you go to the folder that you save this uh, .py file and then call initialize that using python and app.py and then hit enter. So it will give you it will run and give you an address to access your application which in our case 127.0.0.1.8050 and uh, here it is. Here's our hello world app. Um, and now that you took a look and how it is, how it looks like, let's split the screen and see side by side how we use how the code is translated into this application. So um, after importing the required libraries, um, we just initialize the app calling dash dot dash, 
And then here is the line it added that just uh, changed this title here in the tab. Uh, and here is where the magic happens, is the layout and where you uh, select the components and you say what you want and where you want it. So basically the structure of a Dash application is, it accepts two main types of components. So the more than 150 uh, HTML components like headers and some paragraphs and also the Dash core components, components that we're, is available uh, in this library. So basically they are, um, Plotly components, Plotly graphics that are available here to Dash. And if you're familiar with Plotly Dash, it follows the exact same uh, structure and syntax. And if you're not, uh, Plotly has a really good documentation that's, that shows you how to uh, parse the data and also how to style things. So if you haven't done before, I recommend you to take a look and learn a little bit of the basics. Uh, we're going to talk more about this while we develop, but it's always good to check before. So back to the application. Uh, let's just recap how what is the what is the structure of uh, a component in that plot with dash. So basically, it is uh, HTML div, a nested HTML div with some HTML or dash car component inside with a specific ID and the data that you want to parse to the graphic or the HTML component um, with a style and a class name, which will be very important to style that. And we're going to explore more of this in the video number two. So here, there are some things that are missing in this graphic. For example, how we be able to add like X label and Y label and also change the title and do some other modifications here. So if you remember the syntax of a Plotly uh, graphic, it is like data and layout, both dictionaries that accept other uh, things inside, which can be uh, a dictionary or, or just a live string. So in this case, um, I already prepared some code here, which you can actually go to the um, to the documentation and check how you should uh, write this in the correct syntax. Um, for our purpose, I uh, just will copy and paste our layout here and then change that to show you how to do this. And in this case, we're going to keep our title in the graphic and add um, an x-axis and a y-axis with different family fonts and maybe let's say different sizes here just to see the difference. Uh, the color will be the same, be different. Um, and then when you save this, uh, automatically the app understand that something changed and it will restart uh, and you, don't, you just need to refresh the page. So if, for example, you run, uh, forgot, forget like a parenthesis and save it, it will break, of course, and say uh, instant syntax error. And then in this case, you have to rerun the it. So yeah, let me save here. Okay, just showing you how it will show the error when you do something wrong. So all right. We're back with the x-axis and the y-axis and show you that we can also uh, have more graphics. Let's just copy this component here and paste that under this. And then we're going to have two graphics. And here is one important thing. You should change the ID of the graphic before before um, running, because if not, it's going to show just one. It will override something, um, your previous uh, graphic. So let's change here to two. Example graphic two, and here I'm also uh, yeah. Let's just save here and run, and see what happens. Oh, yeah, 
in here and update it. All right, we have duplicate graphics. So here um, in the bottom one, I'm going to change the type to line. And then here it is. So congratulations, you already created your first app and you saw how to add more and more graphics to it. Um, you can now play with what you want to put, if you want to put like a text or if you want to put more paragraphs or change the uh, title of the graphics, change the data. And then next video, we're going to uh, teach you how to how to style it, and instead of a stacked um, gra graphics, how to put side by side and control the size of these graphics. So, see you next video.